When the producers told me I was gonna be doing some Gaelic shit, I said to myself, before I jump to any conclusions, I should probably Google it. And I said to myself, I should probably ask how to spell it. Apparently, it's an old language spoken by the Scottish and is closely related to the Irish Celtic language. Now, as far as I know, the Boston Celtics have always been some white people shit. So there you go. It's always a challenge. It gets easier, but never gets easy. And uh, it brings a lot of joy to people and a lot of solace to people who need it in tough times sometimes. I think it's because the bagpipes really amplify emotion. My name's Aaron Shaw. I'm a professional bagpiper. Have you ever wondered what it would feel like to grab a goose, blow in its mouth as you squeeze the out of it? Well, wonder no further, because you're about to see some ultimate Gaelic musical instrument, the bagpipe. So how do chicks feel about bagpiping? Uh, well, they like the kilt. Oh. They tend to like the kilt. Not so much the bagpipes sometimes. That, that's hit or miss, but the kilt's usually okay. pretty popular. All right, so who are some of your prize students? One of my best students from years ago was um, from the Philippines. Mm, and okay. he really got into bagpipes because of Rowdy Roddy Piper. And he's an excellent player, Man, great that's, player. That's what I was thinking about when I was seeing you. I was just thinking about Rowdy Roddy Piper. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not quite as, you know. You probably play the bagpipe better than him, though. Maybe a little, yeah. If you don't know Rowdy Roddy Piper, he was a popular wrestler back in the 80s. If that didn't work for you, he starred in the 80s film, The Live. David. I don't know how old y'all are and how old y'all be thinking <laughs> I am. This shit. I heard it was a beef going on with bagpipers. You know, you had the uh, bagpipers and accordion players. Yep. There used to okay. be an accordion school on the end of my block that all this. Oh, your block was banging the accordions. Yep. And we, I just said we just needed like a banjo teacher and we'd have the whole thing. That's exactly how the Bloods and Crips started. For the record, that was nothing like how the Bloods and Crips started. So how do I get started learning? Well, this is what we learn on. It's called a practice channer. I'll show you, show you what the scale is on there. And then uh, got a set of pipes for you, and we'll just get you to fire them up. All right, let's do it, bagpiping. So at first, it feels natural to do it like this, but you want to have your fingers over farther. That's great. And then you just, yeah, more or less. There's a finger somewhere off a hole a little bit. So how do you know when someone's good at bagpiping? The thing that makes a, a, a bagpiper good is that they're in tune. The tone should be really steady. Got it. Yeah, I, you're gonna kill it. Sound like a dying duck. A really sad dying duck who was just three days away from his retirement. It ain't a lot of black history in, in, in bagpiping, though, huh? Not a lot, not a lot, but yeah. there's some. I think you might be number three. You know what's crazy? Everywhere I go, they say it's been two people, and I wonder is it the same two that's going around everywhere doing all the white people shit before I get there? That could be, I don't, I, yeah. If awkwardness was money, that man in the skirt just gave me $500. You put this one up on your left shoulder. Yeah, grab this one with that hand. And if you hold it pointing down like this, that's it. Just see how hard you need to blow and see if you can get a sound like this out of it. You gotta, the, the trick is blowing really hard, so. Man. A little more. Try, try giving it a little squeeze with your arm while you do that. I ain't that gonna too. lie to you, Aaron, I smoke. Uh, that doesn't help, but yeah. you're not alone. All right. There's not a lot of smoking bag pipers, but there's some. Okay, because I can get high with the best of them, so. <laughs> all, right. Ooh, all right, here we go. Yeah, try squeezing with your arm, too. I'll see if I can make a little adjustment on that, make it a little easier for you. Yeah, it's a bit like wrestling an octopus at first. Okay. There you go. Now when it's going, now grab it and push it under your arm with your right hand. Like, just take that bag and shove it up there under your arm. Like I say, you're on the right track. I appreciate that. Little I, work. I appreciate the vote of confidence. All you need is the kilt. So what's up with them in the quilt? Yeah, it's, it's actually called a kilt. They say many have been kilt for calling it a skirt. Uh, so it's a okay. kilt. The, the big question people always are curious about is, uh, what do you wear mm -hmm. under the kilt? And I always say shoes and socks, so. Oh, that's it? Yeah. See, see cuz I feel like that, that, that'd be the, the problem. See, like when I first got here, they was talking about you gonna be in a quilt. And I was like, look, I already understand. You gonna tell me you quit 
a quilt ain't a skirt. Right, right. But it looked like a skirt, you know, and I'm just not used to having stuff on and getting a little breeze under there, you know what I'm saying? A day like today, the breeze is nice, though. Because, look, if I get a good breeze, hey, there's kids in this park, man. I, yeah. I can't lie. God has blessed me. <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> I but appreciate see, that, it. That's why we wear this. Oh, OK, right? OK. If you weigh it down enough, you'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to weigh my thing down with a five-pound weight. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Not a bad stop. You're making really good progress for a first time, I gotta say. You know, I really appreciate that. I gotta go on, get ready to get up out of here, Aaron, because you know, this bagpipe looks like a bazooka on my shoulder. You know, but if I ever need any bagpipe and samples for my garage band, I'm gonna holla at you. All right, you got it. Yeah, maybe you can do it for my at my wedding. If sure. I ever get married, well, this kid I might get married, well, I look good way. in it. So my smoking way has got the best of me. I tell you what, though. If he filled that bag with some water and packed some cushion, one of those horns, you would have seen me making some real damn music.